No. Uh, howdy, howdy. Uh, so w welcome back to one of the most uh, positive communities on YouTube. We accept everyone. We accept furries. We accept Burger Churger. We accept animation channels, and we accept Bozo Alert Nation. For example, the other day I made a positive video about Frost Fox, and you know everyone seemed to really support him in his uh, furry endeavors. Sorry, I'm eating an airhead right now, but people seem to love and accept him. For example, someone said he is the reason why cancer exists in the first place some positive shit but once again hope you guys have been, uh, I want uh, I hope you guys are having a good day today I've been doing pretty good myself and basically I was on TikTok and I saw a clip of a video of daters on VR chat and they were having their stories being told to the world about how they met and their marriages and oh it's so cute oh my god and after watching this short clip I was very disturbed but after watching that on TikTok I thought this would be a perfect video so I sent it to myself found the original video and here we are welcome and strap in to the VR chat dating experience in 4K high definition HD ultra wide let's go if you guys enjoyed the video subscribe if you're new drop a like on the video it helps my penis it helps me out a lot if you subscribe anyways uh yeah let's begin we've had a ceremony in here so we're VR chat married okay i know it's like a short little bit but we're VR chat married. Does that mean that you can like go out and fuck? I mean, I know these people don't go outside, right? But like, think about it, right? If the opportunity, gee, I need to fucking calm down. Listen, okay. Imagine in real life, an actual human being, a hot girl, goes up to one of these people, like, "Yo, do you want to smash?" Do you think they stay loyal to their VR chat girlfriend? Not even girlfriend. VR chat wife. VR chat. What? They're VR chat married, dude. Do you think they? Uh, uh, <laughs> like, I can't wrap my head around that, dude. VR chat married. 2022. I need to get on board. Ah, oh, we did a ceremony with a bunch of friends, red vows and such. This is so horrifying. This little do you know the way Sonic dude is just... Oh my god, man. The way it expands and grows is like actual nightmare fuel. Imagine having VR chats. Wait, what, what was that guy, Baba? What did he say? <clears throat> the demon's tango, the devil's tango. Imagine playing soccer together in bed, right? Like the special stuff. And the VR chat virtual model isn't like some hot girl or something, or like, you know, some fat dude. It's Ugandan Knuckles, the 2018 meme, growing and expanding on you. What the fuck? It's uh, two years ago. It was more like three with COVID being like so long, but yeah. Yeah. She's saving money to come up here and mm. visit me because I went and visited her uh, last year. The end of the oh man, he already visited her. He already got that little, uh, they already got that, he already got that wet pussy. Hey man, I'm proud of you, dude, but do you, what if like you don't get hard? Like what if you need the pills and you don't have them? Like that would fucking suck. Like three years of online. Imagine going back to Isa. Yeah, on her birthday. Yeah. Well, I met. I I found her. I found her. Oh, he found her. You know, that's normal, normal stuff, dude. You know, I'm scared for this woman, dude. I mean, even her VR chat little dude looks scared too. She had a demon art page, and I uploaded a model that she had made a long time ago because I liked it, and I fixed it up, and I somehow saw her in the open mic night, and I just said thank you for making the model, and I showed her what I did to it. And then she kept joining off me, and then it just sort of happened. We weren't looking for a relationship, it just kind of happened. Yeah, that's how that's how it works, you know? You're not really looking for something, and then all of a sudden, there you are, you're inside of it, you know? It's kind of beautiful if you think about it, in all honesty. Like, this is a pretty beautiful video. I mean, I wonder what the comments are saying about this. Man, everyone here is just so lovable, you know? Yeah, I agree. I think we're getting into this point in the video, but look into my eyes and tell me I'm ugly. New, you beautiful. Ah, such an adorable moment. Can't wait to watch it. Well, I mean, he was just really friendly. I was like, oh, this guy's cool. I'm gonna, you know, I'm gonna get to know him better. Look him in my face and tell me I'm ugly. <laughs> no. Uh, oh, God, it hurts. Fuck, I just can't. I, I didn't think it was gonna be that bad, but I mean, I mean, it was beautiful. It was, it was a good moment. It was cool. It was fun. If you guys are watching my video and you guys are inside of a VR chat, couple or a relationship just look at that clip and really reconsider if you want to be a part of that because holy fuck i mean i guess there could be other ones where it's like oh i'm the e-boy and oh, listen to my deep voice you want to suck me off but i mean that right there that uganda knuckles shit was fucking awful dude at one point in my life i was homeless with a full-time job living out of my truck 
the bank increased my mortgage to about double what it was and I filed bankruptcy because I couldn't afford to keep paying what they were paying. I was arguing with them over that. What they did was illegal. I lost my car. I ended up losing my truck and my house. I wonder how that's going to correlate to him and VR chat fucking bitches. I guess we'll find out. Yeah, that's one of the reasons why I was involved in that class action lawsuit four hundred dollars that's what i got and look at me now i'm in vr <laughs> this is actually a super sad story bro but <laughs> I, <laughs> is it too fucked up to just be like that moment when your entire life is ruined you're homeless you have no life no job no house no money. <laughs> Jesus Christ. I'm in VR. <laughs> uh, I got my mom died uh, and I fell into drinking. Got really bad. I don't like this VR chat shit. I don't know what it is. It's just fucking weird. You got like guys like this and then you have anime girls on the side. There's something off here. I feel like if I was in a relationship and my significant other was like a hot dude and he was on VR chat, I would not be comfortable with that. Cause like, why are you looking so fine in your little suit with the anime girls, bro? Caught a DUI and a lot of money and other things went elsewhere uh no now i'm into stocks yeah i'm on my, on my feet i moved out of california and I now live in texas i'm into stocks and and i day trade and, and um i have i have a family i have a house and living life now definitely ain't easy don't get me wrong i have a lot of losses more than i have wins but it evens out to where uh, I'm still able financially suitable. Only a small percentage of people shut up. I died almost four times at my job. LOL. Yeah, man. I, I work in construction. Very dangerous. Almost got crushed between like a machine. Electrocuted one time. Almost lost my pinky. And I'm fucking 20, man. And I almost died like four or five times. Damn, that sucks. I'm 19 and... My dick hurts. No, I'm kidding. In all honesty, dude, I love this guy, man. It really shows that if you're in construction, get the fuck out of construction. Do not work construction, bro. If you guys are watching the video and you're thinking about working construction or you work in construction, quit. Become a preschool teacher. Because holy fuck, this guy's 20 years old. He almost died five times. How do you still work there? And I'm sorry, and I know he's gonna say like, oh, well, you know, I have to work there. It pays so good and I need to live and support my obese daughter who has autism. But And I understand, like, I have to do that too. But bro, I'm sorry, I'm not dying o over my job. Like, I'll work somewhere else, man. That's why I quit my job to do YouTube. But I guess a tornado can come and fuck. You know what? And I almost died like four or five times. But it, it is my job. I am confronted with those things every single day. Like, I, I'm not going to tell you Almost dying is normal, but I kind of lost the feeling, you know? But uh, wait a second. So if he almost dies four to five times, he had to have worked with someone who actually died or like heard stories about that. I don't know why he would continue working there, but I mean, you do you, bro. I'm not trying to act tough or anything like that. That's just how it is. There's some things about me that is a lot different than compared to my real self, because as we all know, when we live in this sort of virtual space, we are trying to become something that's a little bit different. Our real self is very generic and very much likely going through our lives and trying to understand ourselves. But in the re in the virtual world, it try to represent- I don't know what he's talking about at all. Is anyone else following this at all? Anyone else following this? this uh, video anybody it sounds like one of those class presentations that you sit down and listen to in high school that's just so painfully boring that even the teacher isn't paying attention to grade it like what's he even talking about dude like oh i'm in vr chat virtual world and myself is boring but my vr self is interesting he's a little robocock like that's it a way where we're trying to express ourselves in our true inner sense of who we really are because what you're seeing is just me I'm just a, I'm just a guy with using this typical avatar that reminds me of that feeling when I was a kid when I lose the shape of it. See how complex it is when I put my hands close together? Look at that. But it's still my hands. If I put much attention to it, it's amazing how complicated but so unique it is. I just, you cannot say no to that. Well, I mean, I can say no to that. I said no to buying a VR system when people told me to. I said no to drugs and... I can say no to watching this video, except I'm gonna keep watching the video. And that's something I always love about it. And that's the fact that I'm trans, a male to female. Most people don't, most people don't realize, cause you know, the whole, it's like, it's like, what was it, back in the, in ye olden days, the don't ask, don't tell. It, it depends, because you can, you can just identify 
and for some reasons or another not go through any of the process to fully transition mainly due to the like fam like a family aspect and myself included are afraid to actually even start our transition while we're with family with family because their families are so against it my grandmother in particular very devout catholic goes to church about every sunday and even when my brother was just growing his hair longer my grandma immediately went on his case about oh you're not turning into one of those those freaks that want to be a, f a, a woman do you and he's like that's a cool story man i really hope that uh that works out for you